Nothing else I needed. Sure thing. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Irma. Oh, enjoying yourself and good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it? Now this is more like it. Hey. Hmm? Wait, Wait there. there. Gotcha. Come on. I'll keep an eye out. Red Allen is the town drug addict. You have to hand it to him. How wonderful. Someone new. Is it true you're from one of those vaults? I met a few of your kind once before back in D.C. Charming people. Badly dressed, but charming all the same. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Then consider yourself fortunate. You weren't exposed to their latest trends. Granted, being a popsicle doesn't sound all that fun either. How'd you end up here? I'm here on business. A man thinks I'm better off dead. I beg to differ. Right now, he's waiting for me in some dusty hideout with a full staff of gunners. I hope to match him gun for goon. That's all for now. Very well. King of the ghouls. God, it's good to be home. If you need some protection for your settlement, I used to be a soldier for the gunners. Sure. I know the perfect place. Wanna work for me? Roger that. Where do you want me? What, another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. God, I love this song! Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. you can believe Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See? We respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Bards. Look, pal, if you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. But if you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Oh, uh, From what I just heard, sounds like you're out of business. Are you kidding me? I'm not about to let a couple of gunner rejects stand between me and a solid payday. But just give me another week. Oh. Sounds like you can handle yourself. Sure. But I worry about those guys throwing a wrench in the works. If you're worried about Winlock and Barnes, don't be. They couldn't kill a squirrel with a rocket launcher. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back?
You don't. That's part of the risk, right? Can't argue with that. I'll tell you what. The price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Let me think about it. It's not like the meter's running. Take your time. I got plenty. What's on tap? Excuse me, doctor. Can I help you? What is it you're working on? The equipment you retrieved for me has proven incredibly useful. I am making good progress with the FEV project. Actually, I'll be back later. All right. I'm worried about Rex. Those super mutants are so brutal. You don't know how this will turn out. I can only hope and pray that he somehow makes it out of this alive. Magnolia hey. is a fine singer. What do you need? She's really hey, not on that stage. All ears. And by stage, I mean the Your thoughts? I get the good neighbor lifestyle ain't for everyone, but it beats the alternatives. Folks in a place like Diamond City wouldn't give a ghoul the time of day. Your thoughts? So a ghoul walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve ghouls here. Ghoul says, that's fine. Is the human fresh? Are things all right between us? Seems like we're all right from where I'm standing. Oh, nothing. Gotcha. You step through the gate, you got balls. Buddy, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. Oi, we got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia, the flower of the third rail. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now, you gonna order? I'll take a look, sure. Here's to drown in sorrows. Now that you're licked up, got a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? I want to hear the details first. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a cleanup job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch? It's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. Don't worry. I'll know when it is. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Well, I guess we could sweeten the pot a bit. 250. I don't do work unless I know who's paying the bills. Oh, yeah, that would be me. I forgot about that one. Well, looks like the man himself will be helping you. So, you want this job, or what? Too low. Barely covers the risks. All right, Gov. Three hundred. I'll get it done. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Need a place to stay? Try Hotel Rexford. Hey, Irma. You like the decor? My business partner hates it. Says she's not the fun type. Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Hey, That's you. Good. Yeah, That's you. Good. Take a seat. Bye. <clears throat> Best scrap in the Commonwealth. Right here. Hear anything lately? Nothing you'd be interested in. Now, I got merchandise to move here, if you're still buying. Let's see what you have. The 
ex-gunner McCready. I actually met him once before. I doubt All right, he me now listen up. We There's a landmine in your seat. If you stand up, you'll explode into a million pieces. So you better shut up, sit still, and listen to me. Let me tell you a story. A long, a long time ago, I was from a vault. Not one of those vault tech vaults, but a private one. When they kicked all the kids out of the shelter, including me, the man in charge implanted us with a device that would alert us if someone broke into the place. And let me tell you, when that device goes off, it hurts like a motherfucker. So me and my brother decided to track you down and find out why you entered the place. And believe me, it was no easy task getting here. With all these raiders and Brotherhood of Steel, and the Institute assholes everywhere. <laughs> I bet you didn't even know they put a tracking device on you when you entered that place. The size of a tick, and led us right to you. But I didn't come here to have a kickback. I came here for some answers. I just have one question for you. What the fuck were you doing defiling the tomb of our parents? <laughs> 